Hey guys, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you all for tuning in on this Friday. Hope you guys all had a good week at work or school or whatever else. Today we're doing another episode of Fan Mail Friday. Uh, this week we only got one package, a very lonesome one package sent in to us from Rusty. Rusty's based out of Connecticut. He's a super rad dude. Uh, he sent some stuff before, um, last week I believe, and... Uh, Sent me a CD uh, with his old band uh, on it, and then also sent me Gargoyles, the movie, uh, The Heroes Awaken from the mid-90s on VHS, and also a board game that came with it. Super awesome collectible, always wanted that. Um, thank you again for that, Rusty. i got a package going out to you, uh, hopefully tomorrow, if not tomorrow, Monday. And then everybody else um, that's expecting fan mail, uh, you should be getting your packages next week, hopefully early next week. So we're going to tear up in Rusty's package, see what he sent. And then after that, I figure we will uh, have some more fun on this Friday, and we will rip open some Fairfields. So I know you guys all love Fairfield boxes, so um, let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so let's check that out here. There's a fragile warning on the box there. Um, tear right into this, and we have some foam pieces in here. It looks like we have a Ghostbusters Funko Pop figure in there. Don't see those too often. Let me turn this sideways. And we have a note as well from Rusty. Check it off camera, make sure there's no address on here. Um, and it looks like we have the library ghost. I gotta pull this out first. Looks like Rusty sent us the library ghost from the original Ghostbusters movie, Gertrude Eldridge. This is awesome. I have seen this figure around before, never owned it. I always thought about picking it up. This is actually my first Funko Pop figure. Um, pretty awesome, Rusty. Thank you so much. Um, for any of you that uh, haven't watched any of my other videos, I'm a huge Die Hard Ghostbusters fan. Um, and always have been since I was a little kid. So this is a really awesome uh, item for him to send. Um, put that aside and then uh, let's check out Rusty's note here. Hey, John, what's up, bro? Great job the videos and reaching 2,000 subs. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I came across a few things that don't fill my collection. Feel free to keep what you want and pass along the rest to your subscribers. On your first fan mail video, someone sent in a couple of weird cartoony baseball cards. Uh, the Dinosaur Attack cards. Those are pretty awesome. They are made by Topps in like 1988, I believe. Or 87. Uh, they are from a set called Awesome All-Stars, put up by Leaf in 1988. I have included an empty pack box as well. Uh, one complete 99 card set, among a few other things you may like. I should be in Johnstown some point late summer. Sorry, I'm kind of leaving you guys out there. Uh, Johnstown's uh, pretty close to where I'm at. It's about 45 minutes away. I'll keep you posted. Be well, take care, and happy hunting. Signed, Rusty. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much, Rusty. If you are around in the summer, definitely uh, get a hold of me. Then we can even go out and hunt some stuff together. Like I said, Johnstown is pretty close. Let's dive in and see uh, what else is included in here. It's definitely a really good packing job there by Rusty. I do remember these cards. Eric and I used to uh, buy these back in the day. Um, I think I have uh, the whole. I definitely have the whole set somewhere. Um, baseball's awesome all stars. Um, I think they were very similar to Baseball's Biggest Gross Outs, uh, something along those lines, if you guys remember those. We used to buy, uh, we bought a couple wax boxes of these. Uh, they were pretty cheap back in the day, and um, I used to like them a lot. Eric and I definitely had a good bit of these cards. I still have them somewhere. So this is a sick box. Thank you for that, uh, Rusty. Love the vintage stuff, so that will go perfectly in my collection. Much appreciated. And then we have two smaller boxes here. This is actually the whole set right here take a look at these any of you guys that have never seen these yeah, I think these were I don't know why I want to say they were baseball's biggest gross out something along those lines Phil the fanatic let me adjust my camera here so you guys can check these out nethead Nelson I definitely remember remember all these Ned the nose Sean the second sacker Todd the tooth Mormon the nose Steve the second sacker Ozzy the outfitter, outfielder, Freddie Fats, Nat the Nose, Charlie the Chomper, Hot Breath Henry, Norris the Nibbler, Ollie the Outfielder. You guys remember these cards? Comment down below if you do. Benny the Boxer, Handy Harold. Haven't seen these in years. Strikeout King, Oliver the Ump. He's definitely bringing back memories. Baldy Bob, 
Greg the Gluck, Bob the Bomber, Sarah the Second Sacker, Ernie Eyeballs, Gene the Giant, Billy Big Mouth, Alert Adam, getting smashed in the face by a line drive, Weird William, Ted the Intimidator, looks super intimidating, slide into his freaking jaws, Glenn the Glob, Richard the Runner, Jack Boxley, there's some of these I think that were like kind of hard to find. Matt the Mole. I feel like he was one of them. Peter the Pounder. Scott Scooper. Scooping a ground ball into his mouth. Voodoo Vernon. Paul the Ball. Randy the Reader. Zap. What's his name? Harry Hatchet. Taking an axe to it. Michael the Midget. Larry Line Drive. Speedy Ed. Warren Weinbrain, Bobby Backswing, that looks painful, Sammy Springer, Chris the center fielder, Evil Eye Eric, William the Wombat, there's some more cards in the set than I remember, Spider Sam, Bo the Bookmaker, looks blitzed, Benny the First Baseman, John the Jet, Long Arm Larry, Steve the Switcher, Neil the Negotiator, Unethical Allen, he's a real rascal, huh? Putting that on the baseline. Two Bagger, Stewart the Steeler, Big Mouth Bruce, David the Dominator, Blooper Looper, Shane the Shortstop, Gavin the Goof Off, Sperry the Spitball, Perry the Persuader, dude means business, Benny Bolts, Albert the Eyes, Barney the Bat Eater, Fingers Frankie, I like how they put steel out of his fingers there, that's pretty cool, Freddy Far Out, and we got an awesome checklist, that's pretty sick, 99 cards were in this set, and these were made by Leaf in 88, I think this was one of my favorite cards back in the day, Death Wish Dan. Bob the Slob, Robust Robert, Pat the Pitcher, Forgetful Fred, Slimy Slam, Sam, Prickly Paul, Lightning Larry, Ball Brain Bruce, Ugly Ursula, Sean the Sissy, Carla Contra, Winged Wayne, Jerry Jabberjaws, try saying that ten times over. Corey the Bat Corker, Brian the Bat Boy, Stubby Stan, Robert the Robber, Fireball Frankie, Muddy Small Michael, Junk Food Jimmy, looks like he's having a great time, Shell Shocked Sean, that's another tongue twister, Gary Garlic Breath, Ball Liquor Lee, <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Tummy, Machine Gun George, Harry the Hypnotist, and Glovehead Glenn ends off the set there. So 99 cards in that set to go with a sweet box. Thank you very much for that as well, Rusty. Those are sick. Those bring back a lot of memories. Now I don't have to try to track down the cards that I had. So I'm sure they're, who knows where they're at now. And then um, look, one more box here. Oh, nice. Really sweet. These are some vintage... TMNT cards. There's a shredder sticker right there. Actually, that's not shredder. Tatsu sticker. Uh, Donatello sticker as well. I used to get these uh, when I was younger. I never had too many of them, though. And these are from the original movie. Hungry Mike. I believe that's a very end scene from the movie with shredder. The face off of shredder. On the rooftop there. Yeah, these are awesome, man. And then these are from the cartoon. I do remember having these too, but didn't really ever have too many of them. You saw your Jimbo defeating the dragon. Our story opens. Back to the sewer. Awesome stuff. Thank you very much for those. Really cool to look through those again. It's been a long time. Put those in my PC. 
And then we have some Batman cards here as well. And these seem to be from the original Batman movie with uh, oh, Keaton and Jack Nicholson as a Joker. There's some stickers there of the Batman. The drawing sticker. And there's the Joker. And again, these are from the original Batman movie from the 80s. There's Jack Nicholson there. Very, very good Joker. Do you guys prefer more? Do you guys prefer the um, Heath Ledger Joker or do you prefer the Jack Nicholson? A lot of people can't decide. Personally, uh, really enjoy the Heath Ledger version, but I definitely still really appreciate Jack Nicholson's portrayal of the Joker as well. Have not watched this movie in quite a while. I own it, so I'm going to go back and watch it again soon. It's been a while. It's a pretty awesome. Also, if you'd like to, comment down below. Let me know who your favorite uh, uh, portrayal of Batman was. Uh, I don't really think any of you will say George Clooney. I mean, I would hope not. But... Teach his own. I remember seeing Batman and Robin in the theaters in 1997, I believe, and I think at that time time period I actually liked it, but I was also I think 12 or 13. So these are uh, these are still part of the set. These look a little different. You only ever had like one or two packs of these when I was a younger kid. There's a Batmobile there. And then now uh, this is an old one, dragged from Death's Door. Uh, this is from the Adam West Batman, 1966. Uh, that's a nice one. I don't think I've ever seen uh, seen these ones before. So I'll probably throw these in the personal collection too. These are awesome. I'd like to get a box of these actually uh, and tear it through them. Turtles too. I was actually looking at prices of those online. I'd like to rip open some of those too. Um, so thanks a lot, Rusty. Really appreciate it. I got some uh, some stuff in a package coming to you. Hopefully, I can get it shipped out tomorrow. If not tomorrow, Monday. Um, still have to respond back to your email, but I think I have some stuff picked out for you. Um, also, thanks again for this awesome library ghost. Uh, it's really sweet. Normally, don't get into Funko Pops too much, but um, I like this figure a lot. Uh, I'm digging it, so that'll definitely... Uh, be uh put on a shelf here in my office and uh appreciated so thank you so much for that rusty much appreciated and i promised we would so after that awesome package from rusty let us tear through these fairfield boxes i know you guys love them so i actually like them too i don't know a lot about newer players but i have always enjoyed opening packs and uh these definitely um I don't know, I love these. These make me want to collect new cards. I'm getting a, a decent uh, newer card collection now, which I never thought would happen. Uh, right here on the front, we have a, a Topps Fire Worn Spawn card. That is my first Topps Fire card, so I can appreciate that. Um, and of course, these are going every single which way. Oh, Jose Lean. Where did I flip to that card? So let's just start going through my guess and try to make sense of the giant mess that Fairfield provided us with. I'm not going to read all the names off. I know some people like that, but uh, a lot of people don't like it as well. Keon Brox and Rookie Card. We have a Max Scherzer in here. Almost won the Cy Young Award last year. It was beat out by DeGrom. Steven Biscotti, Rookie Card. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my camera here. Hanley Ramirez. Somebody actually sent me his Rookie Card uh, last week, I believe. Um, Baines World sent me his Rookie Card. I think it was... Uh, that was an early 2000 uh, Bowen card, Steven Strasburg. You Darvish, Gold Cup card, and Johnny Cueto. Baines World is an awesome channel. Check him out, guys. Um, he's got a lot of videos, a uh, decent amount of videos for just starting on YouTube and uh, some really cool content. So, JJ Hardy, Matt Stairs. An 81 Don Russ card. Rick Sutcliffe, I wish that you would have been Frank Thomas. 
right there. But oh well. No real Hall of Famers right now. Usually you have a decent amount by now. A lot of the shields. Paul Canerco. I should have his autograph on like a 1995 classic card or something. I got out of a weird repack box a long time ago. Night Tops Traded, I figured that's what it was. Ugh. Me and Eric always talk trash on the Night Tops Traded set. Very awful set. I think the total value is about three bucks. And it was good a long time ago when Carlos Bayerga and uh, I think uh, who else? Dave Hollins used to be valued a few bucks back in the day. Um, now, um, I think John Allroot is the best card in the set. If I can think of it, at least. There's an old uh, Indians team card. It's pretty cool. I thought that was a Juan Gonzalez rookie for a second there. I saw Gonzalez. They love putting these old Kmart cards and stuff like that in too. I don't mind. I like those older cards. I wish they were Hills, but... Looks like we got the Shields Jr. here. Future Stars card. It's pretty cool. Considering I watched his dad growing up play. Looks like we got our Bryce Harper. I feel like I've pulled a few of these already. Johnny Cueto World Series card. Clayton Kershaw, you can never go wrong with him. And a Bryce Harper, that's a 2013, yeah, 2013 card. Um, Pablo Sandoval. So, one more part of the stack left here. We'll rip that pack. So we got an old Yogi Bear and Dale Bear card. What is this, 85 tops? Yeah. Um, pretty cool. And... Some older commons. I thought we almost had an Eric Davis rookie here. This 85 Don Ross, but it is a Dave Parker. Phil Necro. That's a nice one. And Daryl Strawberry, second year card. Uh, I feel like a lot of people mistake this for his rookie card. It is not his rookie. Uh, his rookie card is 84 tops. And then uh, 83 tops traded would be his first tops rookie card. Moises Alou. Andres Galarraga, 91 Leaf. And some junk wax cards. James Shields and Ian Kinsler. All right, let's rip this night top straight. In. Maybe we'll get a John Rude rookie card in here. Ah, oh, there's no gum. I was looking forward to that. Billy Hatcher, Dennis Boyd, Rick Leach, Jack McDowell, Mike Flowers, Joe Carter, and Alejandro Pena. So that is it for the first box. Let us divulge in the second one. So we got a Roger Clemens. Uh, was that an Allen Ginter card in the front there? And let's look at another pack of 90 tops traded again. It's a nice, uh, that's a Gypsy Queen card. It's a nice Clemens Gypsy Queen. So we got a Mariana Rivera in here. Just pulled that out of a uh, Fairfield box last week. This box looks like it might be better. I picked these up at Rite Aid earlier today. Sorry if I'm Troy Tulowitzki, Buster Posey. I'm trying to get these cards in the camera, but uh, maybe I'm doing a poor job. I can't tell. Looks like we have Scott Van Slyke, Andy Van Slyke's son, Carlton Fisk, 85 Tops card. That's a good one. Hall of Famer. Uh, Roger Clemens, 91 upper deck. That's a nice one. Steve Carlton, 87 tops. Back to back John Farrell cards, which I believe it too. I think he is the one who's pictured on the, um, the packs of 92 and 93 uh, tops. A very horribly off centered Al Leiter card, 89 tops. Um, well, I don't, you don't see him that bad too often. So that's kind of neat actually. It's Al Leiter's second year card. His rookie is 88. Chili Davis. And a Rock Reigns, 86 tops. Valenzuela, I thought that was an 86 Fleer update. It's kind of a nice one. I believe his rookie year is 81. And a Shane Mack, USA Olympic rookie card. No value to Shane Mack, unfortunately. Yvonne Calderon, 
Um, I think he was, uh, what, shot to death? A bar? Um, in the early 90s? 94 or something like that, I believe. And here's a 91 score. Um, 91 score is a 9. Actually, my, my fault is a 1990 score. Um, World Series card. It's pretty cool. Um, 90 score update or traded. You don't see those too often. Mark Grace. So we got a Billy Swift. USA uh, Olympic card, 85. Jake Peavy. Miggy Cabrera. And the... Freaking uh, 90 Tops Traded Pack, which I was dreading. Another Bryce Harper. I haven't pulled that one yet. My Harper collection is getting pretty big from buying these. Probably actually start sending those off. This is, like I said, my cutoff for collecting cards is probably the year 2000. I still like to... I might even still start to collect rookie cards from the 2000s. My new thing I think I'm going to start doing now, John Carlos Stanton. That's pretty nice. I don't have any of his cards, so that's a first for my collection. Prince Fielder and Adrian Beltry. That was a pretty nice uh, run there. I think I'm going to start collecting error cards. As I figure, I only collect uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s rookies. I'm going to run out. Um, you know, Eventually, I'm going to run out of cards to buy. So, um, I figure I always really liked error cards. I have a couple already for my in my collection. So, uh, I'm going to start buying error cards and looking for those. I think that would be a lot of fun, especially if you're breaking old boxes. There's a lot of error cards out there people don't know about. They just overlook. You get that Dale Murphy 89 upper deck reverse negative. It still goes for like 40 bucks or more on uh, eBay. I always wanted that one. But I have some of the smaller ones like the Lee Smith rookie and then the Juan Gonzalez reverse negative and some other ones as well. He still like these metal cards back in the day. I thought those were really cool. Was it 95? 96? Something like that. Um, yeah, I thought those were awesome back in the day. And there's another one. I haven't really seen uh, these in any uh, Fairfields. So these really weren't, these boxes weren't too good. There's your, your eBay. Too bad it wasn't one year sooner. Bobby Bo. Bobby Bo, Bo Day is coming up here pretty soon in a few months. Yeah, nothing too great in these boxes compared to the ones I ripped uh, last week. And finally, we're going to finish it off with this 90 Tops traded. Dave Hollins, this was a hot card back in the, in the, in the early 90s. I think it was only booked for a couple bucks, but there's a Hall of Famer, Lee Smith. We were just talking about his rookie card, Air. Todd Hundley, too. This uh, definitely had some value to it back in the day as well. Remember that. We were looking for that card, but um, that's it for this episode of Fan Mail Friday. Thank you very much, Rusty, for the package you sent. Really awesome stuff. Um, if anybody else wants to send me a uh, fan mail, it'll be feature featured in uh, next week's video. Um, my P.O. box will be in the description down below. Um, everybody waiting on fan mail, they'll be getting out to you this week. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Enjoy your weekend, and um, I'll see you guys soon. Take care.